later. But first, oh we must get down to brass tacks, Tim, because we have Angus King, Senator from Maine, Martin Heinrich, Senator from New Mexico, Arizona, John Kelly. They're all coming out and they are saying this is the or Mark Kelly, rather. This is the way. Now, before we dive into all the manipulation and the stupid that we're about to show, let me show something that I think is important that I caught in a CNN interview from Angus King before we dive into the actual announcement. Dr. Button Pusher, let me know you're alive. And then after that, let's hit number one. I will find you. And I will kill you. Yes. <laughs> He's a little uh, scary this morning. He's a little, Doc? He's a little spicy this okay? morning. But that's OK. <laughs> but that's OK, Doc. That's OK. I like the energy. You're bringing it. Let's hit number one, though. These are particularly dangerous, useful only for killing people, and we, we want to we want to diminish that lethality. We ooh, ooh, hold on, Tim. Hold on a second. You know, I hate to be a stickler for words, you know, because those are important. He, you notice how he did not say stop these events from happening, right? You notice that he, just wants to he decrease said reduce lethality. lethality. Yeah, lethality to. You don't want to stop it, the shootings. You just want no, to decrease you don't lethality want to th because what are you trying to do here? Exactly. So now, now if this logic follows, Tim, and I mean, bear with me, we're going on a crazy bear trail right now. Um, if you're going to put forward a bill that pretty much removes any gas operated uh, firearm or rifle, which would be the go part of go safe act gas operated. Um, and you're trying to reduce magazines to a, max, a maximum of 10 you're not getting rid of the actual firearms that are already here. Wouldn't that imply all of these things that you know that people are going to do bad things with firearms, but you're just trying to minimize lethality on something you can't stop? Wouldn't that kind of follow? It kind of sounds that way. I don't know if that's what he means or not. They don't think these things through. They right. they, they kind of just run at this wall and... They, they forever say stupid stuff, right? We're, that's part of the fun of the second legacy is we constantly pick apart the stupidity. And so it, it's just more of that. I don't think this has ever been a, a fully, uh, you know, thought out exercise in their minds. They just have the end goal of taking your guns away and they'll say whatever they have to, to scare the fence setters oh, yeah? and the, the people that are outside of the community into voting for their lunacy. Wow. wow you are, you are feeling generous this morning. They, what was in those Apple Jacks? Because, that's a lot of positive intent, and I like the vibe. I do. I look forward to showing you more clips, which will demolish that into the universe. But I like where you're at right now. So, you know what, Tim? Hmm. Before we hear from more Angus King, you know, just common sense gun reform, gun control, it's all good. Uh, let's go to Mika Brzezinski, because that'll get your goat. This is number two, doctor. The hour, it's been a month since the mass shooting at a bowling alley and restaurant in Lewiston, Maine, that left 18 people dead. A staggering number that only begins to show the magnitude of America's gun problem. The tragedy is one of more than 615 mass shootings in the U.S. this year, and gun violence has killed more than 39,000 Americans so far in 2023. Oh, Right. So half of those numbers of the big number are suicides, as mm -hmm. we well know. So yeah. it's an artificially mm -hmm. inflated number. And then, of 100%. course, <laughs> what, it, it always seems like we're on repeat here, man. I mean, I know, I know, they, because they're on repeat. I know. We're repeating their repeat. It, it, it's like every time we have to debunk these morons and it's just like <laughs> they just come right back with more stupid the next day they, with the same do. stupid. That's right. Stupid on repeat. Yeah, it's I mean, Groundhog we, Day of stupid. We had all these mass shootings. What you mean is you have all these carjackings and gang violence and inner city chaos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has nothing yeah. to do with mass shootings. No, oh. no, no. It turns turns out that's an inflated number to scare people. And to your point, Tim, fifty percent of that thirty nine thousand plus in twenty twenty three. 50% is suicides, which are also terrible, by the way. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I'm not trying to minimize any of this, yeah. but you know, something else, Tim, again, another groundhog moment that they're uh, there. I'm sure coincidentally, there was a glitch in the teleprompter. They didn't, they, they meant to say this. They just forgot. Um, that's down 20% from year over year, but they're not going to tell you that. In fact, if you looked at that exact same style, she delivered right there, Tim, you could say if any number, there have been over 100 people killed by firearms this year in 2023 alone. 
Yeah, you're out of context. That seems a like that seems kind of a thing, but yeah. when you actually look at the numbers and provide the audience that you're trying to manipulate and abuse mentally, it's actually going in the right direction. And I found that so weird. But that's the setup, Tim. Yeah, well, that is the setup. They can't get their common sense gun reform, aka gun bans, unless they have the chaos. Yeah. Again, we've said this many times on oh, here, so they're never going to acknowledge yeah. the down. Yeah. The, and it's not like a new thing. Like the trending nope. national violence going down is not a new thing. This has been occurring since nope. the mid nineties and it's been on a downward yes, trajectory since then. Every year it goes down for the most part. If it ticks up a little bit one year to go right back down the next. And, mm -hmm. and they don't want to talk about that because if they talked about that and tried to understand what's actually bringing the, the violent crime down, well, then it's going to just shred their gun control arguments. So they got to say, well, no, 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 don't, don't, don't believe your lying eyes over here. Look what we've made mm -hmm. over here. We got a pretty new graph we put together. And look, people are dying in mass numbers. There's over 22 billion That's dead true. Americans this year. And, and it's like, oh my goodness, people. They, I mean, yeah. and, oh, and we can so use bad. accepted statistics from places like the FBI, which I don't trust them 100%, but I trust them more than, oh, Giffords and Newtown and all the other <laughs> jokes that put out their own numbers. Right. They just manipulate numbers. No, 100%. Well, Tim, you're going to be pleased to hear before our gun grabber segment later, before G3, I, I brought infographics. I, I brought them. And, and you're going to love every moment of it. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's got multiple colors one. on it. Oh, it's got it's got multiple. It's a flow chart. And it's got multiple, multiple colors. Did we put this something is, in there for our VP so she can understand it or no? Yes. No, no, exactly. Exactly. I exactly. love Venn diagrams. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks, you know what? I would just like I would just like to compliment the setup, the ex execution of that, and then the the follow through. It was so good. It was so good. But Tim, Tim, I think this is important, my man, because it's Friday and we got to be real with the people. The second legacy. Do you know the business end of an AR-15? Are you aware? Because you're about to find out. Is that the butt stock? No, oh. no, 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 no. Actually, actually, it's even stupider. Okay. Uh, let's hit number three. Necessary and will work. Uh, the what we're focusing on is the way the gun operates rather than what it looks like. Okay. Because if, if you say you're banning a gun because of what it looks like, the manufacturers can modify the, the looks and then they escape the, the, the ban. So what we're focusing on is the high capacity magazine. Right. This is the business end of these things. That's what makes them so dangerous is when the shooter can keep shooting. So our bill says you have to have a fixed magazine in the gun, 10 bullets maximum, no, no, uh, no detachable magazine. Right. I just want to say, Braden, watch his hands in that clip. Oh, uh, I, He's like I this, know. And then I goes, know. And then the uh, and, and I love it when people talk with their hands and and they're they're trying to think and they're using their hands to jog their memory. <laughs> they're and doing going, inappropriate. And it's, and it's the magazine. It's the uh, it's the magazine, the ten round with bullets. Uh, <laughs> it's like seriously, dude. <laughs> oh. It's okay. It's only on national TV. No big right. deal. No big deal. He's just playing with an imaginary pickle. But yes, <laughs> I mean we're gonna ban pickles and AR-15s because the business is you don't want you putting that in your butt stock. Um, what did I? Uh, what? Can we? Excuse me. Cut. All right. Well, thanks, <laughs> sir. Uh, let's go on to the next topic. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, no, that, that's a good observation. They are clowns. But it turns out, Tim, that the magazine, the magazine the end. is the business end. And all these, it is. All these years, we, we in the 2A community thought God. the muzzle was the business end. And it, we, right. it, it, we didn't know that it was the clipazine in, in bullets, exactly. not cartridges, bullets. We, you know, no, and he just wants exactly. to make it so you can't even have brass, gunpowder, and primers in your clipazine. Ex ex he's worried about the bullets. The so he's, yeah. <laughs> we're going to regulate the bullets. Yeah, um, yeah, but that's that's what we've been doing wrong. You never put your hand in front of the muzzle or anything in front of the muzzle. You're not willing to destroy it. That rule is is obviously well, you wrong. You don't want to destroy. You never, yeah, you got to be careful with the magazine too. Yeah, because yeah, you never do that. Yeah, never, don't touch the you magazine when you're shooting. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. So, so that's the business end of the gun. <laughs> that's the business end. And and after all, we're gonna. We're going to solve the problem of mass shootings and the massive issues we have in this country with, by reducing from thirty rounds to ten rounds. Tim, 10, because now 10, 
So I got to talk about the 10 number because this drives me okay. nuts, dude. Where do they come okay. up with the 10 okay. number? It's like the six foot rule during C-19. Just arbitrary. You know, why not nine? Why not 11? What's magic about 10? Is it just a round number? What do you like so much about the number 10? Why not 15? Exactly. exactly. How, I mean, yeah. the standard yeah, capacity for an AR-15 is actually 30, but we don't want to do that because that's just too much in the clipazine. We got to regulate the number of know. bullets, not cartridges, bullets. It's, you know, that's actually, that's actually a really, that's a really good point. So, so let me add some conjecture to this. So everything that I've seen in, in all of our exploration of the gun control zones that we spend all our time analyzing and diving into, I mean, quite honestly, it's kind of like you drop into a dragon's nest with a, with a sword and a shield and you're just like, hope this works out. <laughs> um, Cause it really is like that. But um, you know, I've seen them come out in court cases and they've said, well, that's because 10 rounds allows you enough to defend yourself, but not enough to go ham sandwich. Um, it's, it's always based off this little fuzzy idea that you don't need 10 rounds and it only takes effectively one and a half. And the average defensive use is like 1.67 rounds. It's something around that, but they've never given a true reason why 10 is the magical number. Well, see, I don't know if it's be it one more than nine. So it's not like the New York act or, or it's like one less than 11 because 11 is the number of like, of like, some god and uh, Thor. <laughs> like, I have no idea. Yeah, they don't know. And what this is what's interesting. So if you go back in time, I think it was during the Obama administration, there was actually an Indiana sheriff that posted a video on YouTube that went viral. And he took a, a female shooter that was not an experienced shooter, not a competition shooter. And he gave her a handgun with three 10 round magazines. And he gave her a handgun with two 15 round magazines. Mm -hmm. And, and he had her shoot on the clock and reload and hit targets. And guess what didn't okay. change in any significant way? The number of rounds she could fire in X amount of time. The magazine reload oh. takes a fraction of a second, even in unexperienced hands. So what you won't see them doing, at least yet, is going to say, well, you can only have 10 rounds, although he did say fixed, so you can't change magazines. Right, exactly. So they're trying to address that because they can never deal with that problem. Like, well, okay, we're going to say you can only have 10 rounds, you can only carry one spare magazine. And you can only, if you're right-handed, you can only reload with your right hand because we want you to lay your gun down, take the magazine out, put the magazine and pick the gun back up. If we catch you loading with your left hand, doing it quickly, now we're going to charge you with a felony. I mean, th this is the mental gymnastics these morons have to go through to try and to regulate guns. But keep in mind, this is only an interim step. That's why the stupidity doesn't really yes, matter to them. That's why it if they can so get dumb, this right? done, then it's just one step in the direction of total confiscation of ban, which is their end goal. So that's why none of this right. makes sense. It's just like the NFA. It doesn't make sense because there's a bigger yeah. objective. There's a bigger agenda push there. Well, you know, it's, it's funny you say that, Tim, because again, yet again, you follow the line without even knowing where the line is going because you just set up the next clip perfectly and you haven't even seen this part yet. I haven't yet. seen it yet. Okay. You haven't even seen this part yet. This is so glorious. I love when you do that. So we've got one more clip from Angus King and fair warning to you, Tim. Blood might be about to shoot out of your eyeballs. Fair warning. <laughs> fair warning. So just get ready. So Dr. Button Pusher, this is number four. What's the argument to gun owners who want their rights protected and would argue that they should have a right to have this weapon? Well, the, the best argument is just, Justice Scalia, who was really the, a pro-gun conservative justice. And he made the point that the First Amendment, the Second Amendment is not absolute. Like the First Amendment, there are limitations. And he said it doesn't mean that you can use any gun whatsoever in any place whatsoever under mm -hmm. any circumstances. So... What we're, this is really historically consistent with 100 years ago, almost 100 years ago, machine guns have been mm -hmm. heavily regulated, essentially banned, and sawed off shotguns. Why? Because they're especially dangerous. This is exactly the same uh, pattern that we're going after to say, look, these fit into this category of especially dangerous we're not taking guns away from anybody, we're, but we're saying you can't manufacture new ones with these detachable magazines. Wow. Where do you start with that one? Oh, there's so many places. There's so many. There's so many start. It's like a build your own adventure. There's so, there's so many great points but here, right here there. again. Let's, let's just take the end and, and, and work to okay. the front. Right. So backwards. He's, OK. okay. He, he starts in with, you know, well, you, you can keep what you have. So you mean the. 300 what? million that are out there aren't a problem. Just the new ones are. Right, right. right. Well, I mean, so this is this is AR. So it's 25 million. That's the important number. We're going to go back to that in a second. I know. But so it's it's just, yes, I, I blew that number up just because I'm being overly dramatic here. But what, I, what I'm trying to say is 
there's no consistency in their policies. And, and when they outline their policies, it only serves to illustrate that they're not serious, that there's something else they're driving towards. It's not reasonable yeah. gun control and safety like they're always saying, because if that were the case, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing and saying what they're saying. It, it's, oh my goodness. Okay, well, that, well it's going to so give that, me an so that was a good t- I know. And, and I you know what's funny? Blood. And, and, and they go into this like, well, you know, machine guns are especially dangerous. Are they? Are they really? Because have you served in the infantry? You know what they teach you? To use semi-automatic. Why? Because it's aimed fire. That's how you win wars. You hit the enemy. You don't spray lead into the air. It's it's true. It's, can I get a Gavin Newsom? Yeah, actually. That's true. Because it's true. <laughs> Mind-boggling. Yes. Oh, oh, oh and, and that's not even my favorite part of that. That's a very good point, though, Tim, with the NFA and the extremely dangerous because they're angling all of that. That entire segment of clip was to angle to get ARs inside the NFA, all the while using the Heller decision of which he's going with Scalia. Right. Because that's that's actually in the Heller decision of they're not all unlimited or the, the rights are limited. But then he went yeah, on to say the, things that Scalia did not say. Exactly right. And he also omitted things that Scalia did say. Right. So he removed the idea around common use, which was from Miller, which was referenced in the Heller decision, completely ignored that. 24 million of these are in circulation. So that's one thing he just completely ignored. And then the other thing is he added the idea that ARs are extremely dangerous weapons, which would put them underneath the NFA, which would be a tax stamp situation for an AR. All this part made me anger than any of the rest of it because he's manipulating people who don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. And it's just he's omitting little pieces here and he's adding pieces here to make it a completely different decision. Right. And then he's trying, well, it's he's a pro gun, he's a pro gun scotus, so it's okay. Liar. Liar. It's interesting that they've they've devolved into just focusing on the magazines. They seem to have learned from the 94 assault weapons ban because I've had this argument with many of the gun grabbers, right? They'll say, well, we just need uh-huh. another assault weapons ban because the first one was so effective. No, actually, it wasn't. The government's own first study before they did, they re-engineered the study to you know show that gun control apparently works, which it didn't. And so it did mm-hmm. nothing. It literally did nothing. They could find no evidence that it did anything. But then these gun grabbers say, well, you know, we just need to reenact the gun ban, the 94 gun ban. There was no ban. There was a ban on cosmetics, which he talks about. Which right? he talks about, Because right? you cannot tell me the difference between an AR-15 and your grandpappy's semi-automatic 30, uh, 30 .30-06 rifle, Remington, right? Because functionally, there's no difference. So he's going to focus on the magazine, which the Remington uses a detachable magazine. And there are magazines out there larger than the five that it originally mm-hmm. shipped with. So he can't he can't talk about the actual functional differences because there aren't any. He wants to now focus on the magazine. So they're trying to figure out, well, where can we go with this? Because we got, you know, our pickles slapped and we talked about muzzle devices and flippy things that go up and barrel shrouds because they don't really change the functionality of the weapon. It only messes with the appearance. So we got to go after the functional differences. So well, what's the functional difference? Exactly. Um, uh, the magazine. Let's go after the magazine. Oh. Uh huh. That's one piece. No, that's one piece. But again, Tim, you set up the next segment. So that wraps the segment with Angus King. 